Hello friends and welcome to another video. Now this is a BB Craft haul, um, so I thought I would come on and tell you what I've got from them. Now BB Craft, this is the website. Now they do all sorts of stuff from knitting, sewing, jewellery making, paper crafts, scrapbooking, you name it, they've got it all on there. They're a Chinese based site. Um, delivery is usually around two weeks unless you pay for expedited delivery. Um, and they reached out to me about two weeks ago and asked me if I'd review some products. Now, anyone that's seen any of my magazine reviews or anything similar on my website will know that I don't f suffer fools and I will tell people what I think. So I thought it was rather brave of them to say I had carte blanche um, ability to tell you exactly what I thought about these products. So I will show you first off the three products I've got and... I will give you my initial thoughts and then maybe in a week's time we'll come back for another video where I'll try and do one of those making videos that I keep promising everybody uh, sort of make with me and we'll use the products and see how things turned out. So for now I will just show you what I've got. Now this set, I tried to get things that would be true to my channel so I know some people are into their jewellery making and things like that but I don't really do those sort of things, so I wanted to do stuff which I was familiar with so I could give you an honest account and review. Now, this is a pack of ba, 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 six dies, and they're all nesting dies. So they're dies which all... Look at the sets of eight. So you've got the rectangle flower, and you'll notice with all these, they've got the sort of the sewing type style on them and I don't actually own any of those I have I have like the circles but they don't have those sort of sewy bits on then you've got them the squares and then you've got sort of the hearts more decorative and then you've got another different type of heart now just to give you an idea um like i said i'm not sponsored and i can do what i like so to give you an idea i purchased this one from wish and that single one cost me three pound and it's just one one die so for all these bear in mind you've got eight eight per pack um so what eight 16 here's doing my maths 24 uh 32 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So you've got 40 individual dies there and it comes in at £16.11. So that is really reasonable and they look good quality. So I'll hold off judgment until I've actually tried them. But my initial opinion is that they are really good sets. So that's those. Then the second thing I got... Now, obviously, I love my pen palling and my swap bots and all those sort of things. So when I saw this, I absolutely, I, oh, I knew I had to try it out. So this is a wax melt, wax seal set. Now, I have the code for it. When I went back on to get the information to be able to do this video, they don't seem to do this code anymore. But I have found one very similar, which I'll link down below. So I don't know whether they've just reviewed in the two weeks that I've got it, the actual item, um, but they have got one that is pretty much identical. The identical one comes in pretty much at £10.29. So, for this set, you get the melting spoon, you get three of the candles, obviously to melt, um, you get the stamp and I do have quite a few of these stamps and if you're going to go on the line I think I got my last one from Wish and it cost me four pound um so to get all this for ten pound is really brilliant you can just see and it says I think was it for you yes it says for you just backwards this is wooden this feels really good they are the solid heavy, I don't think they're going to be brass, I don't think they might be, but they feel really heavy. 
and they are the screw on screw off so my initial look is that they will be interchangeable with the other other ones I own um, but yeah that's good and then you get all of these now for me when I've done these before it takes about two of these to do a, a seal if you like a nice big thick seal uh, and I love mixing the colours because I think just think it looks really pretty and you can see you get absolute I think, I think it said 50 or it might have been a hundred because there looks like more than 50 there to me but as you can see there's absolutely tons and tons and tons oh god loads of different colours so I'll be interested to play around with those because I love having fun with those but these also would be really good in pen pal mail um, send a couple of these off because they're, they're nice and small and they're different colours and they would go really nice in little bags these so not just as a crafting thing but as a pen pal gift that would be awesome uh, and like I said, those ones came in at £10.29. So that's that one. Ba, 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 ba. I need that paper, so... Ah! Don't worry, they're going into a bag. Right, and the piece de la resistance, which I was... Piece de la resistance. The best bit... <laughs> Might cut that a little bit out. The best bit I'm saving till last. I saw this and I could not believe... At the original price now this is £10.95 so if you went on this is what you would pay and bearing in mind they do have loads of coupons and things as well to get further discounts on different at different times so there is 15 pack 15 individual sheets of st uh, stamps here and it's £10.95 so my maths isn't great but it's way, way under a pound a sheet. And even if you were to go on to Wish, you're looking at at least, at least two pound a sheet at Wish. Because you usually pay, it's either free and two pound delivery, or depending on the style, it sometimes even goes up to three pound, four pound per sheet. So to have 15 sheets for ten pound ninety five just blows my mind, really. But... We'll have a look. So the first one is the botanical tea. And you've got the hummingbird, you've got nice signs, and those signs. Well, let's have a look. I've got a three by three card here. Just to be able to compare for you. Oh. So that's a three by three card. So if you were to put that on there, that really fills the card. So it would easily fit on sort of a a larger maybe six by four card and some nice birds and butterflies that's that one don't worry i'm not going to talk too much about each one you'll be able to see it um uh, sentiments these are quite a bit smaller um but they would either go in addition they would make nice little tags on smaller cards or inside uh the card itself I like that one, you are my sunshine, and I like that, sent with love, to go on the corner of, like, mail envelopes. So that's good. Now, this one's, like, a mail stamps. And obviously, it's always... <laughs> well, at least I always find it difficult to do anything mail-related. So the cars and the pipe and things, I think, would make nice for a Father's Day card, which is coming up soon. Then you've got some banners, so these would go really nice either in bullet journals or planners or to do your own mail. Um, loads of different, like the bunting and the musical notes. These would go nice across um, letter paper if you're making your own. And we've got some more sentiments here. Sort of says it all really, a nice mixture of different ones. And we've got loads of different musical notes. We've got this one, which is really pretty, which has got sort of what they call it not quotes, but ver like verses. So it looks like it's a dictionary thing for love. I love that writing. 
and then you've got the tree um just sort of the garden style stamps so that would be just sort of either put you in the tree on the swing or those different options there you've got a christmassy one with the little deer is it a deer yeah it is a deer bambi isn't it <laughs> it's been a long day people so that reminds me of the baby sham for those that are old enough to remember baby sham then we've got um the letters and numbers and some little stag horns You've got these flowers. Now, these are right up my street because they are the sort of style that I would naturally go to um, and would lend themselves really well to either painting or colouring in, um, especially on paper, on, like, uh, writing paper. Then you have, like, a, a wedding-type theme, although that looks like it's in Greek. Although I've never taken Greek, they look like Greek words to me. But everything else, you've got obviously the wedding rings, the cake. That's good for that. And then the fairies. Now, fairies aren't usually my thing, but I suppose when you're making cards, that you're not making cards for yourself, per se. So it'll be good to try other things. I love that little door. My little girl would love a card with those things on, so. And the little snail would be great for snail mail envelopes. And then this is probably my favourite because I just love it. It's my style, the sort of adventurer and pen pal type stamps. Um... And they're just lovely. I love that. That is lovely. And the final one are these animals. So you've got sort of the different cats. Is that a cat or a... Yeah, that's a cat, but it does, it does look a bit like a, a guinea pig. And then you've got the dogs, got some fish. And then like the little sort of accompanying items like the ball and stuff so those are fantastic items you know if you look at how many how many stamp sets you get for ten pound ten pound ninety five so I really do hope I hope to hope 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 that they stamp up well um, because if they stamp up well, I'll be going back for the other packs, um, most definitely. I think they do two other styles, um, of pack with the same amount of stamps in. Um, I think Sam, the Scottish crafter, she's also got a stamp set from them. They sent her out one as well. Uh, and they're different styles. So if you want to get an idea of different styles, she's also got a video, um, with those on. But yeah, my initial impressions are very, very good. Um, so I just hope they work as well as I'm hoping they will. Uh, so that'll do for now. Uh, I won't waffle on too long. If you want to see anything um, or go onto the site and purchase any of these or look at the website for yourself, it's bbcraft.com and I'll put all the links in the description below. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.